now, members of Taleslandian Gardens Real Estate, Elysian Siemens Late Night 48, and Gulapolis Entertainment will share their worst poop horror stories. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video as members of the three main channels share their horror stories. We were on the train from Montclair State University to New York Penn Station, also known as Moynihan Train Hall, built in January of 2021, on a New Jersey Transit multi-level train when my stomach started to rumble, meaning I need to hit the can. Tailsland laughed at me while I was unloading. Everyone was shocked to see me scream in the train's lavatory, and when I came out, the whole train was smelly and everyone on board felt disgusted. The conductor made an announcement that we had to switch trains at Newark Broad Street, and Riley and Lucy were angry at me for stinking up the last train. I was at my house in Fort Collins, getting ready to go to Burdink with other low airlines new service out of our city with the inaugural flight. Everyone was invited, including the Grand Junction friends, but when all of a sudden the burritos I had at the burrito barn between our city and the city where we usually visit did not deal with my stomach at all. I didn't use the bathroom until I got to Burbank, which is a 1 hour 25 minute flight from our city. But suddenly, we were on a bus to downtown Los Angeles, which is a 51 minute ride. I clenched my butt cheeks as hard as I could. But when I know there isn't a single bathroom in sight, I told everyone to wait near the entrance of an alley, hid behind a dumpster, drop my pants to my ankles, hovered between the dumpster and the brick wall, and started to relieve myself. Noticing there wasn't any toilet paper in the dumpster, I decided to use my underwear as toilet paper, shove them into a plastic bag, use my pants as toilet paper next, and use a garbage bag for them, and everyone who came with me is laughing at me because I have no pants or underwear on. Christina Greely put a towel around me to prevent exposure. When we got to the hotel, we checked in, went into our rooms on the 11th floor, and immigrant heat washed my pants, underwear, and the towel that I recently covered my exposure in the guest laundry washer and dryer and I put on some new pants and underwear afterwards. Trust me, I will never ever ever use the bathroom after the trip down again. Next time, I'll go before the trip to make sure I am prepared. So the 2020 to 2021 school year is over, and we decided to celebrate by going to the movies. However, I decided that it was a stupid idea to buy a bucket of popcorn. So, I was at the park until it hit. I went to the porta potty and had diarrhea. I was so unhappy about it and if it happens again, I am not going to be pleasant about it. Everyone was at Mandy Harrison's house having a party after her return from her military deployment in Afghanistan one day, the next day, I was hungry. I saw the food from the party and decided to eat it all. I later went to the Walmart in Doncaster, Virginia to get some shampoo and lotion. All of a sudden, my stomach rumbled a little. After I got my stuff and was about to leave the store, my stomach rumbled again. I then went to the bathroom, sat on the toilet, and started emptying my bowels. After I am done, I wiped my butt and flushed the toilet. Later that day, when I watched the game show on Buzzer, my stomach rumbled again. I ran to the bathroom, sat on the toilet, did my smelly duty, wiped my butt, and flushed the toilet. Later on, me and my friends signed up for a concert. At the concert, my stomach rumbled and I told them, I need to use the bathroom. I then pulled my panties down, unloaded, wiped my butt, and flushed the toilet. The announcer, who is Microsoft Mary, said, Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, it's the Dish Girls. And we got on the stage and started singing Waterfalls by TLC. During our performance, my stomach was hurting and I kept singing. Unfortunately, my stomach crumbled again and I said, I need the bathroom. And I got off the stage and went to the bathroom again. When I got out, Daisy, Hannah, and Isabella were standing in front of the door and they were disappointed in me and we went home in our Volkswagen truck. When we were going home, I put my hands on my stomach and I said, oh no, not again. And I ran to the nearest bathroom and did my business and got out. Man, that was an awful experience because of my diarrhea skills the whole day. So, I had recently had diarrhea in the past. I had explosive diarrhea the first time, but sadly, the toilet was broken. I had diarrhea another day, but this time, my nose was bleeding and the clots exploded everywhere. I had to go again. Yikes. That was a close call. Trust me, I'll never have diarrhea in my opinion ever again. Okay. 
I was out of town with my caregivers, friends, and next door neighbors in southwest Florida. But all of a sudden, something did not agree with my stomach so I bolted to the nearby bathroom and started releasing my bowels into the toilet, which is made of stainless steel. Thank God I made it in time. And the other day while visiting Dar, I barged in on him while he's on the toilet, grabbed the bucket, pulled down my underwear, and emptied my bowels into the bucket. Whoa. That really burned my tail. Today, I was at Dreyer Island State Park with my friends, all of a sudden, I felt the urge to run to the bathroom. Man. It was like Angela's village when I hiked to the bathroom. I released a mass exodus into the park's toilet, three times. Nix. That was a close call when I think that. Hope this won't happen again. And did I make Andrew Rose go ruin his pants? Yes, I did. I got lectured by Serena afterwards. This is my job to always go to the bathroom every time I need to go. But when my stomach hurts, I release a funky smell that fills up the bathroom when I empty my bowels into the toilet bowl. And just a heads up, it was pretty smelly when I am finished and when I finished wiping. Just so you know, I always bring air freshener before I start using the toilet. Pretty nasty, isn't it? Just a heads up, we will continue interviewing people with experiences to see how they feel and what the reason is. And so you know, November 1st is free fair admission day. Please meet at the fair's front entrance at 5 o'clock so we can go over the procedures and protocols in case you get lost. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.